you're like me, you're probably really looking forward to warmer temperatures and the spring. So this week's IGTV tutorial, we're going to learn how to design a spring inspired design using bold experimental type. So let's get started. What you're seeing right now is a final design that we came up with and it's using all the wonderful tools that we have available inside Adobe Spark Post and we use PNGs to create this beautiful graphic. So I'm going to take you through the journey on how to design this. So what I actually used was one of the templates included in the blog post within the IGTV description that is for the 2019 graphic design trends. One of the trends is bold experimental type and this was a template that I started off with. What I did was I essentially then just removed the background image and I changed the color, changed the copy so that it would read spring is coming. And now we can get started with adding these PNG flowers. So now that I have my background color and the type here, I'm just going to tap on add and then I'm going to tap on add photo. Next, I'm going to tap on search free photos and I'm going to tap and write PNG. This is an amazing world of creativity that has just unleashed. If you guys haven't used the PNGs, they're amazing. So literally, I'm going to go down and select all the PNG graphics that I see. And the best way to tell if they're PNG is that the, it looks like the background's a little bit of a light gray. So then I'm just going to go in and look for those that have that light gray background and select all the PNG graphics. Once I found all the ones that I want to use, I'm going to tap on add. Now they're on my main screen and now I can start just arranging and making some of the images larger. So I wanted this one here and this, this process can be a lot of fun. So don't feel overwhelmed if it feels like it's a lot. I promise you, I'm going to take you through each single step. So right now I'm just kind of spreading them out so that I can kind of see what I'm working with. Then I'm going to just go in and duplicate some of these PNGs, which is really great because you have this nice transparency to them and it allows you to get super creative. So I'm making this one in the background larger because I want this nice little beautiful flower to be more towards the back and I'm going to tap on order and then I'm just going to tap and drag and bring that all the way to the back so I can always go in and just make them larger and smaller right now we're just going to start arranging some of the flowers and you want to make sure that you have different sizes that helps you create a nice visual flow and it doesn't make it so overwhelming. So here I've arranged some of flowers. As you can see, there's different sizes, different textures that are just starting to build up on it. And now you can see some of the type actually on top of these. The way that I created this was essentially the background type was just one solid and we divided SPR in one line and then ING in the other. What I did was I just selected it and then I duplicated it. So we can just tap on edit and then you tap on duplicate and gives you that same exact thing. Then all I did was double tap and just make one letter so that it's the same font and it stays consistent to the size. Then I would just place it on top and then I go in about arranging it and that's how I was able to achieve that effect where it looks like the type is in the front and some are in the back. And so it creates this beautiful depth within your design. I duplicated one of the PNGs because I really kind of want to start creating more of that depth. Let me share with you a quick little fun update that you can see within the app. If we actually tap on enhance, you'll see all these amazing new tools because now you can adjust the brightness and the darkness. So this can actually help you not need to go to another app. You can actually make these edits and you're using the free stock imagery available within the app and able to have these controls. So to me, this is a really awesome, awesome update. So you guys are in for an amazing treat if you haven't updated to the last one. And if you guys have Android, don't worry, you can always access these tools using the desktop version. So we got your back. Now, let's get back to the design and I'm going to go in and adjust a couple more things. I'm going to duplicate a few things. I'm really creating repetition, which helps create this nice design element. As far as the repetition, it doesn't make things like they're out of place and it kind of works well together. So I'm going to just arrange the order. As you can see, I have the letter I also as one of the single types so that I can make that look like it's more in the foreground. 
and then we end up with a final design that we started off with. As you can see, you use the PNG graphics to really create these overlays and use a bold type to emphasize that spring is coming. So I hope now you get into using PNGs even more and able to create this bold type. Make sure to check out the link that we've included in the IGTV tutorial to access more of these remixable designs. Until next week, this is Nick Tay Cuevas of Nick Tay Creative Design.